I recently picked up the Revolution Makeup Revolution Neon Collection. They introduced four palettes pretty recently. They're each $9, very affordable, very cute, pretty decent sized for uh, nine colors and you know, a dollar a shade, not too bad. I was really hoping they were going to be a knockoff or a dupe of the Huda Beauty Neon Collection. I'm personally a really big fan of her little mini palettes that include uh, the, I think she calls them the Obsessions. They, they have like the gemstone one and then the neon one and the original one. I have quite a few of them. I very much enjoy them. So I was really hoping this might be like a nice little, a very affordable dupe for it. Maybe not exactly, but similar. No, looking at the shades, there are only three in her neon collection. So I was thinking maybe they may be a little different. Just looking at the shades. I mean, these are really pretty. There's a lot to do with them. You've got a lot of good colors. It's just not comparable when you look at the palettes. They're just, I, I had high hopes and that's not what it's gonna happen. So instead what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just do a first impressions with each of the four palettes. Instead of making four separate videos for these tiny little guys, I'm gonna do two separate videos and I'm gonna do one on each eye. So we're gonna do the yellow on this guy. We're gonna do the, um, I think this is the orange one. This is the not a dream and this is the electric dreams. So this is Electric Dreams and this one's not a dream, so Inception. Anyway, let us uh, let us begin. Let uh, I'm gonna break down kind of what I'm thinking for each eye. Um, I'm probably gonna go in as a base with this guy. Um, I'm gonna do this as like a blending shade. I'm going to do this as like a neutralizing blending shade. Um, and I'm thinking it's gonna be one of these two as the, uh, I'm gonna do like a demi cut crease like I normally do. One of those two is gonna go in that one of those glitter pigments. And then I'm gonna use this one as a highlight shade. On this eye, we're gonna do this as the base shade, this as the blending shade, this as the neutralizing blending shade. It's not gonna be that neutral. This eye is definitely gonna be more vibrant because this, this side, this palette really gives off more of a neutral look. Like this is one that I probably could see my mom buying um, because even the yellows are very like brown neutral yellows, if that makes sense. They're not super neon. So, but that I digress. Um, and then I'm thinking this one for my glitter uh, shade on my eyelid. And then I'm thinking probably this one is a highlight shade, but if I don't like it, if I feel like it's gonna mess up the look, I may actually use that white highlight shade on the other palette for both highlighting. So now that we have, now that we have that, all the base is covered, let's jump into it. And I was trying to think, I posted a video pretty recently where I asked you guys, like, what would you like to hear me talk about? Cause I always feel like I struggle to talk and I think I'm getting better with it. It's definitely something like the longer you have a channel, the more comfortable you get kind of like sharing things and just talking to a camera because it can be a little challenging. But I was thinking, what would be a good thing to talk about today? We're gonna go ahead and start on this side. Somebody mentioned in the video where I asked, they said, well, I'd love to hear about like pets and stuff that you have, anything like that that you wanna share. And so we only have one pet. Her name is Rocky, she's a puppy. She is a pit bull hound mix and she is about to turn three years old. She'll be three years old next month. We've had her now for just over two years because we got her when she was 10 months old. And I figured I would just talk to you guys about her and about like us adopting her and how that kind, kind of came to be because it was definitely not something that we, I don't want to say we didn't plan it because we technically did because we had thought about getting a dog for a long time. I mean, I, I for a while didn't think I wanted a dog. And Nikki never grew up with dogs and was kind of scared of them for a long time. So he really didn't care about getting a dog. Like around the time I graduated from college, I really started thinking like, I know I want a pet. At first I was thinking I wanted a cat and Nikki has had cats his whole life. So I was like, well, we definitely could do a cat. And then I started thinking, well, maybe I want a puppy. And we really started thinking about it and talking about it. And Nikki was kind of like, he was open to it, but he really didn't seem like he wanted one. So what happened was his birthday, 2018, I guess, was it 2018? Yes, because it was right before we moved back. So in 2018 of Nikki's, uh, of, uh, in the year 2018, I don't know why I can't speak. It's very hard talking. I'm currently looking for another brush and apparently that was enough to distract me and derail the whole conversation. So anyway, we're now gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna switch back and forth between eyes so we can see how both lay down. This one's okay, lighter than I thought, kind of had some fallout. It, it's not my favorite shade, but it's not bad. So very, it is very neutral though. That was the darkest shade in the palette and you can tell it's really not that dark, but it comes off less brown and more orange, which I do appreciate because it is supposed to be neon. So it does give it a little bit more of a neon feel. Any who's it, let's go back to the story. So 2018, Nikki turns an age, what, what were you turning like 23, 20, 22? 
22. So we're out, we went out for his birthday and we had like two days off in a row, both of us, which in Wilmington, we both worked awful schedules all the time. So it just, that never happened. So it was exciting. We had two days off. We we're like, all right, let's, let's have fun for your birthday. So we went downtown and we went and saw like a comedy show and we ended up at like a restaurant that was open late night that we both liked and we were sitting there talking and somebody I knew in Wilmington sent me because they knew I was thinking about getting pets and I was, we were talking about, at the time we were really talking about getting a cat because I really knew I wanted like a pet and we just, we, he was more comfortable with cats. Cats are a lot less work and like I said, we work crazy schedules. So we were like, I don't know, I'm jumping ahead of the story. It's because this color did not do what I wanted it to do and it's upsetting me. A lot of fallout all over here, just a ton. And it's that kind of like stainy pink, if that makes sense. If you guys have used red or pink eyeshadows, you know they stain sometimes. And so even just brushing it off right there, I should have put down excess foundation or powder or something to wipe it off and I did not do that. So here we are. It's coming off really patchy. I normally love Makeup Revolution, so it's kind of disappointing that it's not doing better. I don't hate it, it just, it's not my favorite from them, if that makes sense, so. Anyway, back to the store. Somebody sent me a, a an article about how one of the local shelters, it's about an hour drive from where we were, they were doing, um, they had waived all their cat fees because I guess it was like feline, like a mating and, and baby rearing season so they had a lot of cats in the shelter and they're trying to clear them out I'm going in with this shade now they're waiving all cat fees for adoption or whatever the adoption fees aren't expensive they're like 70 or 80 bucks but but still so we were like all right well let's let's take a trip we're off tomorrow let's just drive down there let's take a look at the, the cat see what they have see if there's any even available because when they do these kind of like fee waiving things everybody decides that they're ready to be a pet owner which like, I'm not criticizing, that's what we did too. So like, like we were like, all right, let's just go see, let's go look. Well, we we make the drive down there. We got lost, we ended up at the wrong shelter because there was the Humane Society and there's the, shel the shelter and we ended up at the Humane Society first and they were like, nope, it's the one that's down the road. So we were like, crap. So we, we, we took another turn, tried it again and we found it. We go in and there's a bunch of kittens, but like they had lists with names on it and every single list had like 15 names on it. So like there was no way we were getting called for any cat. There was a couple that were really sweet, very cute, really responded well to us through the cages and stuff, but they just, I mean, they had like 20 names. So we were like, there's no way we're getting these cats. Really quickly, I like what happened here. I added that blending shade and it really, they match very well. And I really like the shape that it created. So like that was the first time I was like, maybe this eye look won't be so bad. So I like that. We look at the cats and I knew, like I said, I knew I'd been really kind of wanting a dog. So I was like, well, we're at the shelter. Let's take a look at what dogs they have too. So we go outside and we're walking around. We walk, we make an entire lap. The dogs are barking, they're all crazy. None of them are really like, you know, sometimes you just have like a connection with a dog or a pet and you're just kind of like, oh, this is like, this is it. Well, none of them really, they don't really care that we're there. They're not really excited to see us. They're just barking because they're barking and, and, you know, it, it is what it is. It, 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 it do be like that. We just weren't speaking to any of them and, and uh, that's fine. We're not everybody's cup of tea, so it's fine. Well, then we get to one cage. We've literally circled. We started one side, we went all the way around. We're coming back. We're like at the last, like we got like five cages left. We come and there's this dog that's just quiet. Everybody else is barking. She's silent. She's laying in the back of the cage, like doesn't really give a shit about what's going on around her. All these dogs are screaming and she's just like over it, which like same, like a whole mood. So I stop and backstory. The reason I wasn't sure if I ever wanted a dog was because we had a family pet, a, a dog. She was a Chow uh, Pitbull German Shepherd mix. She was the sweetest dog the best dog that like you could possibly imagine like really only did like one or two things where she was bad or got in trouble just was a overall just a really sweet loving very mellow easygoing dog so you you have that you get spoiled and i'm just like i just can't imagine having a dog that's like constantly like digging in trash cans or like peeing all over the carpet or doing stuff so it, it kind of spoils you and you kind of get worried when you think about getting another pet because you get it's like a relationship you gotta you gotta form a bond it's like when you first get out of a breakup you're like i don't know if i can do this again because now i've got to like I gotta find somebody else that I like. I gotta, I gotta learn all like their weird idiosyncrasies and stuff. It's the same thing with a pet, in my opinion. You gotta, you gotta figure out if you vibe together and then what happens if you don't vibe together. It's like partially why I don't wanna have a kid because like what happens if I don't vibe with the kid? Like, 
and then I just got 18 years of this kid who hates me and I'm just uncomfortable all the time and just, yeah so then, anyway that's a whole another unloading box of tea that we'll talk about another day but anyway so we got so spoiled with with panda and panda was really the first dog that Nikki was ever around that he wasn't afraid of we got so spoiled with her I was kind of like I don't know I don't know if I can handle having another dog because I'm gonna always compare them to panda and that's not fair to the dog we get to this kennel come up now fast forward we, we lost Pan in 2015, so it's like three years later. So fast forward, and there's this dog that's just quiet as can be laying in the back of the kennel, doesn't care about what's going on. And I was kind of like, what's your deal, bud? So I like bend down and I'm like, hi. And she like gets up and she comes over and she sits and looks at me, not barking at all quiet. And she looks at me and she's got the same like panda had this these like soulful eyes like she just sit there and stare at you and it was just like she was just quiet and loving and it, the rocky had like the same eyes and i went i have to have this dog so i started crying like the same human being i am and i looked at nikki and i was like i want this dog like i don't really care. I, like can we take her home today we weren't prepared for a dog we weren't even prepared for a cat we were just gonna go in and put our names on a list and he goes inside and talks to the people well lucky for us and i say lucky for us because if we had left with a dog that day it would have been a lot but they were like, she just came in, literally had just gotten there. There were no, no deals had names or anything. So we were gonna be the first on the list. But she, this was a Thursday. She was scheduled for her fade on Saturday, but they said we can push it forward to Friday and you can pick her up on Saturday. So we said, all right, we'll do that. We decided, we, we get in the car, we call our parents. We're like, we're getting a dog. They're like, good God, okay. And then we go and we, you know, we go to PetSmart and we buy, a cage and food and toys and spend, you know, it was like $300 there and we were like, <laughs> and we were not making a lot of money at the time. I will be the first to admit, like we probably should not have bought a dog, but it was, it was the best thing for us. And we, you know, it was one of those things we took the jump and it, it wound up working out well, but like it could have ended bad. I, I am very aware of that now being older and wiser. All right, I'm going in with the blending shade. I like kind of what's happening here. I don't hate it. I just don't love the formula as much as I love the formula with some of their other palettes. So like what we're creating is okay and I'm not disliking it, but I'm just not infatuated with what is happening, if that makes sense. So just to, just to rein it in to remember that this is also a first impression. It's not just me sitting here telling stories. So fast forward, Nikki is working Saturday and he can get off they closed at three on Saturday. So I had a very limited amount of time. We both worked Saturday mornings normally. So I managed to get it so I could leave early. I normally left work about three o'clock and I was like, well, they close at three and it's an hour drive. So can I leave at like one? And they were like, yeah, sure. So I left at one and I got in my car and went straight from work, drove up there to get Rocky. And, and we came up with Rocky. It is spelled R-O-C-H-I-E. I know that's like people, but Rochi, Rochi, Rashi. I, yeah. I like weird spellings and stuff. And I was like, you know what? I want it to be whatever. What does it matter? Everybody makes fun of it. It's fine. She's never gonna have to write her name. She didn't, she doesn't know how it's spelled. She didn't care. So it's fine. It's it's fine. It's fine. So yeah, so we I drive up there and I go and I get um Rocky and it's it's pretty it's a pretty smooth process. I think to like I said, to adopt a dog, I mean it was so inexpensive really, when you think about it, especially like when people go to purebred. I highly encourage you guys, if you are thinking about getting a dog to look at shelters over like going to a breeder. It's just so much better in my opinion. I mean, I know everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Some people do want purebreds, but it's just healthier for the dogs. And, and there's so many dogs that need stuff. Like this is where I found out Rocky's backstory. So, you know, not all dogs, you get your backstory with them. And a lot of people do their DNA tests, but it still doesn't tell you like what happened before. What I would guess is this particular area has a lot of pit bulls. I would assume, I don't know, I don't have facts, I don't have proof, but I would assume there probably is. And unfortunately, pit bulls just are so mistreated and they're really the sweetest dogs, but they are so abused. And that's why I, I probably will only adopt pit bulls or pit bull breeds just because they do typically get overlooked a lot and I love them so much. But I think there's some sort of dog rings up there. I don't know. I don't have proof. I, this is speculation. That would be my guess. She was found in a dumpster and I'm thinking it's because she is too sweet to be in any sort of a dog ring. We're lucky that she didn't end up being like chew toy. It's horrible to say, but that she clearly had like, she had some sort of like trigger things that would just didn't make sense to us that showed me that she had some sort of abuse or mistreatment when she was a puppy, which is heartbreaking. And that's one of the saddest things now. Like we, it's so sad to us that we didn't get to see her as a puppy because I'm sure she would have been adorable. But like she was really afraid of boxes at first, like just all boxes. And we were like, 
I don't know if she was put in a box or what, but she hate, hated them. She's gotten more comfortable with it because um, as you can tell from this channel, um, and my mom is worse than I am, uh, I buy a lot of stuff and my mom buys even more stuff. So, um, so she's had to just deal with boxes being like here all the time. So she's definitely gotten more comfortable with it. I think the fact that like she's been around us for longer than she was in her bad situation has probably influenced it too. Like I'm hoping that she doesn't remember it as well as what she remembers from, you know, our happy times here. So wh whatever, but anyway, so she definitely had some sort of signs of, of like trauma and things like that. But they said, <laughs> they're like, we, she just came in she was found in a dumpster and I'm assuming like around a dumpster area. I don't think she was actually like placed in a dumpster, but she was found in a dumpster area around a, um, a restaurant, like eating scraps and stuff. So the restaurant called and they had the shelter come pick her up. And then she literally, I think they brought her in like earlier that day and we got in and we were like, that's it. That's, that's the one that we want. That's my, that's my little, my little puppy. Um, so yeah, so she, they found her in, by a, a dumpster of some sort and they brought her in and like i said i really i don't think she was there for even a full day before we saw her so we bring her we bring her home and she does really well she just it's a very adaptable dog and that is like my biggest compliment to her she definitely has like some idiosyncrasies of course every dog if she's got a personality she's great she's like with certain people she's like really aggressive when she plays but she also knows like she she can tell like if she accidentally because she does like she'll nip and stuff like that but she's never does it like aggressively or anything like that um but like with my brother she goes hard man like he'll she'll jump up on him like he comes home and immediately she's just like ah so and it's because she loves him she's doing it sheerly out of love that's like all that's all it is but it's still, I, I can see it being off-putting to people who are not used to dogs, but she's just so sweet. So we, ha we had her for three months and it was, it is kind of a learning curve. In fact, the shelter we adopted her from, we follow them on Facebook so we can see when they post pets, even though we don't live anywhere near there anymore. And there's been a couple times where I've almost driven all the way back up there to go adopt another pet because I, I love that shelter. They're, they don't have a ton of money and so, or a ton of resources. And so if I can adopt from them, I'm going to, to try and do that probably forever because I really enjoyed them. And I think that they um, they do it a, a lot of good work. So we still follow them and they posted something that was really great. And I was like, you need to give like, people are so bad about adopting pets and then getting rid of them immediately because it's more work or they don't bond with the pet or whatever, whatever they feel like it is. They were like, you need to give it the three system. And it's three days for the dog to adjust to its new environment and kind of get used to you three weeks for the dog to really get comfortable with you. And then that's when you're gonna start seeing some of the issues, like some of the misbehavior things because they're gonna start getting more comfortable and they're gonna start kind of pushing the boundaries and seeing like what they can get by with. And then after three months, really they've settled into a routine, you settled into a routine, you guys know each other well enough. And that's when you can really decide like if you and a pet are, are capable of meshing. And I completely agree with that because Rocky really didn't do a lot of bad stuff. I mean, she had some accidents in the house and stuff like that, which was expected. There are sometimes you definitely get frustrated and it's very hard sometimes. But a lot of the times it was like, I know there was one time I woke up in the morning and I thought she was okay because we'd taken her out pretty late. And we, we were living in an apartment at the time, which was a bad decision. If I could ever, if I could take it back, I would still choose to adopt her because we wouldn't have her if we had waited, obviously. But I wouldn't adopt a pet again in an apartment because it was awful. We had to take her out walking, it was horrible. So, um, so we'd taken her out pretty late, like midnight or something. And so I woke up at like seven the next morning and I decided like, oh, she'll be okay before I take her out. Well, I'm gonna just jump in the shower. And that poor dog was like, I have to go to the bathroom. And then she like came and stood in the shower and like peed on the floor and was like so upset. And I was like, that was on, that was me, buddy. That wasn't you. I should have taken you out. I was, I'm sorry. And she was just like, I'm so sorry. I was like, you didn't do anything wrong. Like, you, do you want a treat? Like, she just looks so sad. And I was like, you, you didn't do anything wrong, but like, you, that was on me. So there was definitely some of that, but there was also times where like, I know one time Nikki walked her for like an hour and then like she brought her inside cause she wouldn't go to the bathroom, went and got a package and came back. And he had stuck her in the cage just for like the five minutes when he went and walked up to the front to get the package. And she'd pooped in her cage and he was just like, and then rolled in it and he was like, what? <laughs> what? But you did this for why? For why? She doesn't do that stuff anymore. She's She now understands how to use the bathroom. But the worst thing I think she did, and she's actually done this a couple times, when we first got her, because um, we got her in June, July 4th, we had a I had a party at our apartment and she pulled a tray of food off of the, um, the counter and I lost it. I was like, no, you don't run this house. You're not doing that. So um, she spent the rest of the day in the cage 
and was not happy because there are people there and she's like but there's so many people here that i want to love and i was like no you're no you're in trouble also i went in with the wrong color for the glitter i'm going in with this pink one i know it wasn't the one i said but for whatever reason that's what my brush went to so that's where we're going with it but yeah so anyway fast forward so we have her for about three months Hurricane Florence comes, we evacuate. And this is the first time we are evacuating with the dog. So that's, we never had to do that before. And my gut feelings normally aren't wrong. And as we're packing up the apartment, I was like, we won't come back here. And we didn't, cause our apartment was, it wasn't destroyed. Like our stuff was fine, which is, I'm very thankful for that. But we had a lot of water damage and there was mold and stuff. So it, we, we couldn't move back. So that's how we ended up coming back here, which was the best thing for us. That is a huge blessing. I am forever thankful for that. We're evacuating when everybody is evacuating. So our three hour car drive turns into like a six hour car drive and I've got the dog with me. And she did so well with that. And then we get her here and we're not really sure. My parents are like, you adopt a dog and now you're gonna bring her here. She's great. She did great. She loved my parents. Now my dad, now as we're getting ready to leave our house and, and or leave my parents' house and, and move into our own house, which should be done in a couple months. My dad's like, I just sign her over to me, like whatever, like whatever, and I'll, just, I'll take her. And I was like, you can't have my dog. <laughs> You can't have my dog, dad. And he's like, I don't know if she's my dog now. I'm like, that's not how that works, buddy. But yeah, so that's the, that's the story about how we got Rocky. She's just, she's so lovable. Everybody who meets her, she's just the friendliest dog. Bradley, when he first, um, Bradley's my brother and he lived with us in Wilmington. So before we evacuated, he literally, cause we evacuated in September, he moved back in August just to restart at UNCW. He, cut, he pulls into the parking lot and I had her in the le on a leash brought her downstairs because we we're on the third floor so i brought her downstairs and she's never seen him before has no idea but i'm like hi how are you i missed you whatever and she gets in his car and i was like you're gonna get puppy nap like why are you like this so she's just she's a very sweet loving dog and, and we're very thankful that we got her that's what I, I tell nikki all the time like if we had not gone if we had, had done anything differently then one who knows hopefully she would have been adopted and she would have been adopted by somebody else who would have protected her during the hurricane, but so much bad stuff happened really right after we got her. It's very possible that she could have ended up in a way worse situation. So she's not only made our lives happier, but hopefully we've made her lives happier too. So yeah, so that's, that's how we got Rocky and that's Rocky. And she's, when I, when I adopted her, they were like, uh, she's a goofball. And I was like, I don't know what that means, but I, I do now. <laughs> All right. So final thoughts on everything. Last thing I'll say about Rocky is you can definitely tell she was a dumpster dog, meaning she was on the streets because the, the only thing she cares about is food. And she like absolutely is one of those dogs who like, as soon as you put her food down, she eats really quickly. If you're at the table, if you're in the kitchen, she's gonna be standing right by you. Unfortunately for her, she has, um, as she's aged into adulthood, she has developed some really bad food allergies. So we have to be really careful about what we feed her. We have a very specific food that, that she responds well to. Um, she can't have any sort of like wheat or gluten at all. Um, we have to give her fish oil pills to keep her from getting rashes. It's it's a lot. It's been a nightmare trying to figure out like what she can eat, what she can't eat. It was really hard and we felt like horrible owners because she was like so rashy and itchy all the time. And so so for, for my poor dog who loves to eat and would eat anything, she, um, she definitely would not have bode well if she had stayed on the streets because she would have been miserable because she was not happy being itchy. So I think we finally kind of started to get it under control, but it's been like a, definitely like a two or three month process of like trying to figure out what she can eat and what she can't eat. So, but she's a great puppy and we love her and we're very blessed to have her. And, and the whole situation, when you see kind of how it unfolded, it was like very much like a, meant to be everything worked out per perfectly kind of you know you, we saw god's hand in, in it in every way so so yeah so that's how the final thoughts on rocky final thoughts on the palettes you know i went and i fixed my hair i just did i ran a brush through it and put a bread in it it doesn't look great whatever but i was looking in the mirror and i was like for nine dollars if you're looking for something to spice it up i would i would say that these are probably worth buying if you're like $9 still seems like a lot for nine colors, wait for Ulta to put, they put the entire brand on sale pretty regularly, like at least every couple months, just wait it out. I'm sure it'll go on sale at some point. I think it's a pretty good bargain though. A pretty, I like, I like what's happened here. It's vibrant, but it's still pretty neutral for a vibrant eye. I can't complain. I'm, I don't dislike them. I, I, they're not my favorite, but I think, I think they're probably worth it. So. So yeah, final thoughts on everything. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys have anything else that you're curious about, like if you have questions for me and you would like me to talk about like 
something specific or you know something that you think might turn into a cool story or you don't want me to talk at all and you just want me to sit here and do my makeup whatever whatever you guys want just like leave me a comment let me know let me know if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so we would love for you to be part of the dark angel family other than that i hope you guys have a wonderful day and you stay girly with the dark twist